As usual, we start with the words, the vocabulary for this lesson. And the first word we have is producer. A producer is a living thing that makes its own food. So it can create or make its own food by itself. The opposite of a producer is a consumer. A consumer is a living thing that cannot make its own food. And that, of course, all animals are consumers, right? They, will, they need to find other things to eat. Predator. A predator is an animal that hunts and eats other animal. This is a good picture, right? So we see a cheetah and looks like a wild hog or warthog. It's chasing. If it catches it, it will eat that hog. So the cheetah, of course, is a predator. It will hunt and eat other animals. Prey. Now, again, we say opposite, right? Uh, producer, consumer, predator. The opposite of predator is prey. Prey is the animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal. In the previous picture, we saw a cheetah chasing a warthog. The cheetah was the predator. The warthog was the prey. In this picture, we see an owl. Owls are very strong predators. They're very, they're very fierce and they're very, um, well, like I almost said wise, but yeah, they're smart. They're very good hunters. And what are, they, what are they eating? It looks like here, this is another bird. So they will eat birds, but they're also very famous for uh, eating mice. And actually, uh, many people like owls around because the owls will feed on the mice or the rats. You know, the mice will you know, get into places and eat uh, a farmer's crops or, or all the food in the barn or something like that. And uh, so it's good to have owls around to keep the population of mice and rats under control. So owl is a prey, a prey animal uh, and many different types, I'm sorry, an owl is a predator animal and the prey is what the owl eats. Prey is an animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal. In this picture, the smaller bird is the prey. So that's nature. Okay, next. Hunt. We already saw this word with the cheetah. We saw this, the cheetah chasing the warthog, right? In this case, we have a cheetah who has caught a, a gazelle or an antelope. And that's what cheetahs and predators do. They look for or chase an animal so as, so as in order to eat it. So that's to hunt and many animals hunt. People hunt too when you have, uh, uh, especially where I grew up in the West, American West, many people in the fall will take their rifle, go out into the woods and hopefully uh, they'll shoot a deer or an elk. Uh, they get a permit for this, of course. It's all very legal, and you can't go out and just shoot a deer without a permit from the government, but um, uh, they will hunt, and uh, hunting is kind of a way of life, especially in nature. So to hunt. Of course, we hunt for different things now too, right? And you know, if you're looking for uh, a great pair of shoes or a nice outfit, you might go to the shopping mall and hunt for your perfect clothes. Okay, so we use it for other uh, reasons as well. Food chain. Now we talked about food chain. I said, well, what is a food chain? I mentioned that at the beginning of this lesson. A food chain is a line of living things that depend on other living things for food. So we talked about uh, predator and prey, right? Prey, you know, there's many types of prey and there's many types of predators. And usually the smaller or the weaker uh, animal it is, that's lower on the food chain. The stronger and, uh, and faster and uh, bigger uh, the animal, probably the higher up the food chain it is. So we have, pe we have animals on, low on the food chain and we have animals that are high on the food chain. Now this is an interesting picture. It's a cartoon, of course, and actually it's kind of a joke. Don't be confused by this picture because you can see something very strange here. And I noticed that on the, on the cover uh, picture. I mean, it's, it's a cool picture, but it's just kind of funny because if you notice this right here, that is not an animal. That's kind of a joke. It's a fisherman's joke. Of course, the fisherman, 
it's a very interesting picture. This line here, of course, is a fishing line. On, on the hook, you see a worm. So a worm, of course, is very small and not very strong. It's not, it's a very weak animal. So it's on the bottom of the food chain. And then, of course, a fish will come and eat the, eat the worm, and then a bigger fish will come and eat the smaller fish. So the bigger fish are on the higher end of the food chain. But what in the world is this thing that I circled here? What is that? If you look closely, it looks like an old boot. And that's, like I said, it's a fisherman's joke. A lot, you know, when fishermen go fishing, you know, sometimes the only thing they catch are like old tires or uh, pieces of clothes. In this case, sometimes fishermen like, uh, they, they catch something, they oh my gosh, I got a big fish. And they really work hard to pull it in and it comes up and it's just an old boot. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's kind of a, a joke or a fisherman's tale. And so the artist uh, put this boot in here with a mouth going to eat the uh, worm and then the fish is going to eat the boot. So of course that's not real, that's, that's just a kind of a, a fisherman's joke in the picture. And when you think about it, the, 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 the animal that is on the top of this food chain is not in the picture. What do I mean? Well, here's the hook, right? There, somebody put the worm on that hook, right? So the fish will come and eat that worm. Maybe a bigger fish will come and eat that fish. But who eats the big fish? Well, that's the fisherman. The fisherman is at the top of the food chain because they're going to catch. They're hunting the fish and they're going to catch that fish and have it for dinner. Hopefully they won't eat the boot. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's just a joke. Okay. Next. Caterpillar. A caterpillar is a small insect. I'm sure you've probably seen them uh, out and about in your garden, in the woods, in the uh, parks nearby your house. And they're colorful. Sometimes they're colorful. They have little, looks like hair sticking up out of them. Uh, the caterpillars, and they just kind of move along very slowly and they eat leaves. They're not very pretty, are they? They're just kind of like a big worm with legs. But after a while, they will turn into a butterfly. They will change into a butterfly. They'll make a little cocoon, and after uh, several days, that cocoon will open up, and a new, it, it's, it's the same animal, but it's a completely different, changed being. And it has wings, and it flies around. It's very pretty. Okay. Shark. A shark is a very large fish that has many teeth. And a shark is a predator because it has many teeth. It's very big. It's very powerful. And be careful when you go swimming. Not, not everywhere. I mean, you don't really have to worry about sharks that often. Uh, just in areas that do have sharks, be uh, uh, careful about that. Know where you're going if you're going to go to another country or go swimming on the beach. Uh, just know... Uh, you know, if there's a shark warning or not. Most places, 99% of uh, beaches in the world, you don't have to worry. But some places you do. So just keep an eye out. Listen to the news or the local warnings. Okay, so that is a shark. Lesson 4. Food Chain. Producer A living thing that makes its own food. Consumer A living thing that cannot make its own food. Predator An animal that hunts and eats other animals. Prey An animal that is hunted and eaten by another animal. Hunt. To look for or chase an animal so as to eat it. Food chain. A line of living things that depend on other living things for food. Caterpillar. A small animal that turns into a butterfly. Shark. A very large fish that has many teeth.